Microsoft is now facing a class action lawsuit due to the fact that their controllers are now drifting. Instead of taking care of the problem, they're requesting that the entirety of the lawsuit be thrown away. Let's get into it. For those of you that don't know what stick drift or phantom input is, is another word for it. It's, it's basically when you're not even touching your controller and your character on screen is still moving. When you're not even putting any input into the game, when you're not even touching your analog stick, or joystick and your character in game is still moving now usually that's a product of debris getting inside of your controller or food or your or just your controller degrading over time a controller degrading over the years that's normal that's fine food getting inside of your controller or debris that's user error that's not grounds for a class action lawsuit but the reason why microsoft is facing this class action lawsuit is because this is not user error and this is not a normal occurrence this is a design flaw according to the 21 page case filed in washington federal court the potentiometer within a controller's joystick i.e the mechanism that translates a player's physical movement of the joystick to a movement within game is stricken by a design flaw the flaw the lawsuit claims allows for the wiper component of the potentiometer to scrape resistive material off a curved track which then sticks to the wiper and produces unwanted electrical contact or movement without input from the player. Plaintiffs claim that Microsoft is well aware of this and is still refusing to fix any controllers that are plagued with this defect. So what I have read here is that Microsoft is well aware of the fact that they have a design flaw that causes stick drift. Once you get stick drift, in most cases, people don't argue to exchange the controller. It should be noted as well that Microsoft isn't taking exchanges for controllers in most cases, leaving you with one option. And that one option is to take your controller, throw it in the trash and go spend between 50 and $80 for another one. Controllers are way too expensive for this and controllers should be built with care because they're just as important as the console. Without the controller, you cannot use your console. But the fact that Microsoft is choosing not to do anything and instead requesting that the whole case be thrown away after so many people again we talked about user error and uh debris and food earlier a lot of people are involved in this saying that it's happening to a lot of their controllers not all of that is user error and food and debris again as shown here in this article this is a design flaw with that being said microsoft being well aware of this design flaw tells me that all that's happening here is they're hoping that once you get that that stick drift you toss your controller purchase another one and that is more money and more money and more money that microsoft keeps getting let's keep in mind that microsoft here isn't the only one to have stick drift with their controllers and handle it in this way nintendo did the exact same thing not that long ago the long and short of it with nintendo is that they had the same problem the the, the joy cons were having stick drift many people were complaining about it and it's even worse for those that don't have a regular switch like i do here and instead have a switch light and the reason for that is if you get if i were to get joy con drift which i personally have not so far or, or stick drift i can just these can come out and i can just replace uh, my controller as if I would with the ps4 ps5 I can just go purchase a new controller which I shouldn't have to do But my, my point is it was worse for those with the switch Lite because they can't take this off the controller is completely connected to their Nintendo's uh, Switch Lite, and it's not removable therefore once they get stick drift That's it and if Nintendo doesn't do anything about it They can't just replace the controller for 70 bucks, which is still again way too high They have to replace the entirety of their console The reason I bring Nintendo up now is because just like Microsoft here Nintendo didn't want to do anything they ignored and ignored and ignored the general public until They were forced to do something because a class action lawsuit reared its head and only then did they take any action and not without first doing exactly what Microsoft did here and that was request that the entirety of the case be thrown away. Again, because they don't want to do anything. And I think that, again, guys, you have to keep in mind, these companies do not care about you. The more you, the more you have to throw away your controller and purchase a new one, the more money it is for them. So they're, they're not incentivized to actually fix the problem. What's crazy about that is that these, especially Nintendo, are one of those companies that claim to be such, so pro-consumer, and it's like, if you were to just handle the problem and not 
not bring us to this stage where we now have to, where you're now facing a class action lawsuit. If if you were to just have handled it, when people were initially complaining about it, people would praise you. People would be happy instead of the negative PR. And that's what I don't understand with Nintendo and, and Microsoft and with their actions here. It doesn't make any sense to me. Just handle the problem when people let you know that there's an issue and People will love you even more. And you can avoid being called things like greedy as fuck. All told, the case contests Microsoft falsely and misleadingly markets its wireless Xbox One controllers as a superior product capable of enhancing gameplay, despite the existence of the undisclosed stick shift defect. Those who bought Microsoft made wireless Xbox One controllers, which retail for $50 to $80 each, with the Elite Series variation costing as much as $179.99 wow, have paid more for the controllers than they are worth, the lawsuit argues. I really feel bad for those who bought the Elite Series variation of these controllers for $180 because based off what I'm reading, they're, they're having the same defect or stick shift issue as the base controllers, which tells me that they're really not that different. The fact that Microsoft knew that their controllers had this problem I'm hoping that people don't start seeing this same problem pop up with the uh, Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S controllers as well. Hopefully, when they moved on to this next-gen console, they did the necessary tweaks in order to make sure shit like this doesn't happen again. But again, I'm not saying that Microsoft had this defect in their controllers intentionally, but I can say that, hypothetically speaking if the xbox series x and the xbox series s controllers start facing the same stick drift issue or whatever other problem i can guarantee you it's going to be like pulling teeth and it's going to be a, another class action lawsuit is going to be needed in order for anything to get done because at the end of the day if it happens to have some problem that causes people to have to throw out their controllers and get another one that is more income for them and again like i said earlier they are not incentivized to help you I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.